there are still some scenarios in which Team USA could lose this game and still make it to the quarterfinal. The magic number in that way is two. As long as Colombia beats the U.S. by either one or two runs, should that happen, Team USA still would be able to advance. Of course, the Americans and manager Mark DeRosa want to avoid any talk of math and tiebreakers. They just want to win a game that they're supposed to win. But of course, very little has gone exactly according to plan in Pool C thus far. 21 year Luis de Avila last year in high A for the Atlanta Braves. And they're just going to march out their bullpen. They don't have a starter available, and they just hope to have their relief pitchers face the lineup just one time. Betts hammers one. And it dies in the outfield, but it's caught there. Uh, Jesus Mariaga. Uh, Mariaga gets a start tonight, hoping to add some offense. He almost misplays this ball to start the ball game. He broke back on the swing of Mookie Betts, and he's able to recover in time. Here's Mike Trout in center field, DH'd the last time out. Trout in the gap, and that's going to go to the wall, and Trout's thinking three. It bangs around out of the warning track, around second, easily to third with a triple. One of the most exciting players to ever play the game for his combination of power and speed. And he had such an easy swing at this pitch. I think the script for USA they'd love to follow is very similar to their last one. They absolutely dismantled Canada in the first inning. That is off the plate and trouble for Davila. Arenado now. Bouncer, that's fair. Urshela out there, relay out there. How about that? Five, four, three. Merrill Kelly has traveled the world to come home and make the start of a lifetime. The graduate of Desert Mountain High School in Scottsdale, Arizona, is now the ace of the hometown Arizona Diamondbacks. And Kelly with a good fastball strikes out Rodriguez. Well, Rodriguez homered in his first game and had three RBIs against Mexico and he struggled a bit since and this is a well placed fastball. Maybreeze Villarreal. Alfaro is at first. Shallow center Anderson calling Trout's there Anderson drops it kicks by him and it rolls far enough that Alfaro can chug into second. He goes out in the outfield calling for it raises his hand I got it and it just went off of his glove and you get a sense that if Columbia can put runs on the board before USA that would start to put a little pressure on USA 3 2 is in Columbia has loaded the bases yeah. Diane Frias has had 10 at bats got three hits has knocked two runs in bags loaded infield swung a bit towards first base 2 1 hit hard on the ground Goldschmidt flips. Kelly is there and gets the out. A messy inning, but no runs. Santiago Flores, and so far the rotating relievers has kind of kept the U.S. off balance. Line to left. Mariaga, did he get it? Yeah! Sliding, stylish catch. That's the second sinking liner. Betts hit one in the first, and Turner is out here in the third. Now Trout. That one gets to the screen. And Betts gets to second. All this coming with two outs. Count two and one here. Trout finds a hole and rolls it through the right side. Betts will score. One nothing. And that wild pitch is so important because it changes Mike Trout's target. He didn't have to hit an extra base hit now to drive in Mookie Betts because he's a second. Mike Trout said, okay, all I got to do is put a ball in play to the right side. And he hits a tough pitch, but nobody's over there to make the play. Columbia has a base runner in scoring position. Now we'll see if Urshela can get him in. That ball's driven to center. Trout is over, and he makes a running catch. Tagging third is Mercado. Throw from Trout is not in time. Columbia has their run, and they've tied the game at one. Well, you don't expect to get an awful lot of opportunities against Team USA, and when you do get scoring opportunities, you better take advantage of it. Jorge Alfaro. End of the bat, slow roller up the middle. Turner, and he couldn't corral it. Alfaro 
is aboard. And you can see it's right in the pocket of his glove. He can't close the glove and it bounces out. Ronaldo Rodriguez. Well, this is a important at bat because Merrill Kelly's not hitting his spots. And that ball's hit to center field, hit pretty well. Trout going back, looking up, and it's off the facing of the porch. Around third is Alfaro. He's going to score. Well, we mentioned Eric Kelly had problems locating his pitches, and with the runner on the move, full count, Alfaro scores easily. This strategy by Holbert Cabrera to bring in a, a different reliever every time the lineup turns over is working. Oh, man. Oh, two. John Romero strikes out Pete Alonso. And obviously, there's no tomorrow for Columbia. He's got him. Look at this. Romero gets Alonso, gets Schwarber, and here comes Anderson. Swing and a miss. John Romero strikes out the side. Alonso, Schwarber, Anderson. Hasn't he ever heard of those guys? Holbert Cabrera has shown that he will run, and I think for Columbia, it's anything they got they're throwing at the U.S. tonight. Whoa, out. Graveman with a great move. Frias picked off. So Betts has lined out and singled through the right side. Trout on deck. Liner, left field, base hit. Mariaga has it. Round third, stop sign. High throw, Betts saw it, and he's at second base. One out, runners at second and third. You bring a new pitcher in to face Mike Trout, somebody that they haven't seen yet tonight. Triple and an RBI single for the captain. In the left, that's a base hit. Betts got a great jump. Scoring is Smith. Betts right behind him. 3-2 USA and all the damage from Mike Trout. Three for three for the captain. He stays back on this breaking ball. It spins out over the middle of the plate and he hooks it into left field. A leadoff walk here in the fifth. Runner goes. Good jump. Throw down. Good tag, but he got under it. And they're going to look at it. Dr. Rosa waiting on the video replay room. There's the tag, and you can see. Well, you, you can't see when the hand hit the yeah. mat. But I don't know that the hand got underneath the leg of Tim Anderson to get to the base. He's out. Good job by Anderson, man. On the mound, Jason Adam, who was outstanding with the Rays, a 1.56 ERA, qualifies as outstanding. Swing and a miss. Pertus, Frias to follow. And right now, you've got the, the quality arms coming out of the bullpen. USA has a 3 2 lead, bottom seven. Check swing. Did he go? Yes, he did. And so two outs here. And the count's three and two. Swing and a miss. Adam is sharp. Columbia is done in the seventh. And it's Ryan Presley. Now, Columbia's hitters, these guys have the pop. Alfaro certainly does. Rodriguez certainly does. And those are the first two guys that Presley faces. They have the pop to tie it up with one swing. Alfaro hits it hard. Arenado spinning, throwing, got him! If you're a pitcher with Arenado playing third base, you want it hit. USA win. They're the two seed. They're headed to Miami. There's a drive down the right field line. Betts going over in the corner. Mookie is there. Two down. Elias Diaz. Last hope for Columbia. On a hop and it skips under Turner's glove. First I think he tried to catch it in the air and it didn't quite get to him. Then he had to pick it and it scooted away. Jordan Diaz is going to pinch hit at the plate. So Columbia is not done yet. 0 2 pitch. He went. Ball's loose. Smith. Ball game. On to Miami. Mike Trout drives in all three runs. And the USA captain is going to lead his team into the quarterfinals.